Oh, welcome back, everybody, to uh, Icarus Summon Old Guy Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to um, make ourselves... No, not five of those. One of those. Uh, some resources and equipment so that we can traverse the Arctic biome. If you did not catch the last episode, basically, I wasn't able to find a way to get through um, the Arctic biome uh, without... You know, being able to get back to... Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Before I throw that stuff out, let's grab this back. And I want to make a bedroll. Uh, we're going to need a little more fur. So that way we can s just sleep the night in the cave. Uh, but anyway, yeah, what we're doing is we came back here so we can make a bunch of thatch ramps. So we can get back out of the Arctic biome. Um, when it's time to come back this way. Uh, so, okay, so let's see. Yeah, we got enough fiber, sticks, and fur. Um, let's let's set the campfire down right here. Uh, because what I want to do is I want to cook up some meat so I have another food buff option. Um, all this wood that I have, I actually got in the arctic bomb before we came back this way okay so let's cook that up um and then we want to just start making a whole mess of these well there's 11 right there that's probably enough and uh, we need to get a little bit more fur to make the bedroll so i heard a zebra up that way we can just find a couple of hyenas or some antelopes or something. I should have brought a bedroll with me, but again, I wasn't wasn't expecting to not be able to just cruise right on through the Arctic biome and get to the forest, you know. Um, so anyway, we're fine though. We're not. It's not like we're in a bad situation. Good. So we can also make some soft meat for another food buff from this guy, too. We'll take that and that. I don't care about that. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll take the bones for the moment. But we need to get rid of more stuff. That will be one of the things that we'll get rid of. Um, we could, I don't know. Do we get fur off of an elephant? Let's try this... Um, antelope here. Just need enough to make a bedroll. That's all we're worried about. Uh, no fur from him. Okay. What about the pig? And we can also make some bacon. For our fourth food buff. Uh, two pieces. Okay. Well, let's take all of that. Um, I think I'd rather have the white meat than the soft meat. Okay, I'm not sure if an elephant's going to give us fur, but we might get a jumbo steak thingy out of it, so let's take these guys out. And then our, our slowing uh, thingy is... Oh, actually, we got him pinned. can't even move. Wow, tough dude. Are you going to go down sometime, man? There you go. Okay. Let's put our light on. Good. We got some giant steak. Okay. That'll give us a nice food buff, too. Um, so let's tr Let's see. We, we got white meat. Uh, we got a freaking scorpion and a hyena. <laughs> 
Leave my boat alone. You okay, man? Um, wow, he's at 44% health. That's not good. Okay, let's see. Uh, do I have enough? Let's skin this guy. Oh, good. There's some fur. Okay, is that enough for me to make the bedroll? Oh, now we need sticks. Seriously? Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, let's, um... Let's put some berries in you, and we'll put... Uh, uh, we'll put this empty canteen in you. Okay. What I want to do is I want to get this here from you, and uh, I probably shouldn't be carrying these bones around right now. We, we just don't need to do that since we're kind of on an expedition here. So I'm getting rid of the bones. Okay, so these two I think are going to give the same buff. We have nine giant steaks, but we'll get rid of the white meats. And um, let's go back now and... How do I not have enough sticks? Hmm, I don't know. Well, we'll have to go back into the Arctic biome and cut some trees down then to get the rest of the sticks that we need. So let's put that in there and that in there. So we'll have a giant steak, we'll have cooked meat, we'll have crispy bacon and berries, and then that way we can get our four food buffs. Uh, all right, so... Yeah, we need sticks. I don't have the, uh, the talent that allows me to make sticks in my inventory. Oh, you know why? Because I, I, I just spent them all on the thatch, the thatch pieces. That's why. Okay. Um, that makes sense now. All right. What if we? Um, if we put one of these down. Oh, there's the. Well, I guess it doesn't. We have crispy bacon, so making normal bacon doesn't, isn't going to give us anything better. Uh, but I guess we'll we'll cook it anyway. I don't know. <laughs> um, Alright, if I put one of these down and then I destroy it, do I get sticks from it? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Nope. I get absolutely nothing from it. Okay. If we could find a cactus, uh, you can get some, I think you can get sticks from those. I just don't want to go like 10 miles into the desert from here. And I know, you know, again, we can go back into the snow biome to get the, get more sticks, but I kind of was wanting to do that at nighttime. So I'm not sure if this if that matters in this. Okay, here we go. This is what we're looking for. Oh yeah, there's all those palm trees over there. Let's just go we'll go there if this doesn't give us what we need. I don't think we can harvest this with the sickle. I think we have to pick it by hand. But I might be wrong about that. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay. So what did that give us? That gave us no sticks at all. I think it just gave us wood. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's just head over to this oasis. We should be able to get some sticks from these palm trees. The other reason why I want to sleep is we, you know, we get the rested buff too. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Maybe we won't get sticks out of these. Because they don't really have any branches on them. Unless the very top does. Let's just see what happens. Now we got coconut and wood. Darn it. 
Um, do we get sticks? If we harvest this stuff, or do we just get fiber? What if we do it by hand? Oh, there we go. There we go. We have to do it by hand. We can't use the sickle. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so we just need four more, and then we can make the bedroll. Uh, let's go ahead and just eat that now, because we can. Okay, that should do it. Alright, now we can make the bedroll. And we no longer need any of this hide or leather. Uh, don't think we really need the fiber for anything more either. Okay, we'll get rid of those sticks. Uh, we don't need the tree sap. Uh, no, wait, what am I doing? I want to make some more... Um, Crap, where did all that stuff go now? I can't find it because <laughs> it went down in the grass. I wanted to make a few more thatch pieces. Son of a beech nut. Okay. Well, let's pick some more of these by hand to get sticks. Uh, we need a drink, too. Okay, how many more of these can we make? Uh, just one at the moment. We don't need anything off of him, so we're gonna leave him, leave him be. Uh, now we need fiber. Uh, there's a stick there too. Let's grab a few more sticks. Where's uh, Liberty? Uh, Liberty Mutual. Where the heck did you go? He's right here. Your health is not so good, dude. We should probably do something about that. Let's um feed you some berries. <laughs> Alright, well, that gets his um That gets his food all the way back up. Put those back in there. Okay, so um, I want to make a few more thatch uh, pieces. So we have plenty. Ooh, there's a croc there. we got to be careful of him. Come over here, Liberty. How many more pieces can we make now? Okay, that gives us a total of 16 ramps. Um, why don't we make 20? And if that's not enough to get down and back out of there, then I'm not doing something right. sticks. Get out of here. There we go. There's four more. Okay. Okay, we don't need all this fiber. Uh, we don't need all this wood. I might keep one stack. We don't need the tree sap. And I think we are ready to take off. So let's go back down to the cave entrance. We will get our cooked food and then we will move uh, through the cave to the other end and then just spend the night right before we get back out the other side. I think there's a, a boss worm in this spot over here. I ran a, accidentally ran across him when I was down here last time. But I didn't fight him, I just ran away from him. Yep, 
There he is. Yeah, 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 whatever. We're out of here. I wonder if you get anything significant off that guy if you just kill him in the open world. I've only fought him, um, you know, during, you know, for quests. Doing the speed runs and stuff like that. Okay. Okay, let's grab all of this food here. Um, so we have crispy bacon, cooked giant steak, cooked meat, and we have berries on liberty. Uh, I don't think the bacon... Well, this the normal bacon's not going to give us anything better than the crispy bacon. So, yeah, let's just... Uh, Let's pick this up and take it with us because we're going to need it to sleep. And I'll take the wood. I mean, I guess we'll take this with us for the for the nonce. What's in here again? Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go back into the cave and close uh, to the other side. Oh, this cape doesn't have the light bug. How interesting. Does it now? Uh-uh, not really. Hmm. So why does that happen in all the other caves I've been in, but not this one? <laughs> I don't understand. because that'll make us cold. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take uh, one of these and let's take a, a heat bandage too. We're going to eat one of those, eat one of those, eat one of those, and eat a berry. Put this down here, and activate, put this down here, and sleep. All right, it is morning. Pick up the bed. Pick up the fire. There we go. I couldn't see the, the thing there. I uh, don't care about the charcoal. All right. I think we're ready to go. Oh, we missed one of our... We missed the berry buff because we still had the coconut. That's okay. Not a big deal. Okay, let's try this again, man. We're going to build ourselves a, a ramp system so we can get down and then get back up later on. I hope we don't run into another cliff like that. Mm, yeah, we're going to have to make sure we don't use up all of our ramps because we might need them again now that I think about it. Are there any caves along through here? I don't think there are. I'm just keeping my eyes out looking for them though. I mean, you know, we didn't really look for mushrooms in here, but this isn't the kind of cave if you guys have been playing the game for any length of time, you know what I'm saying when I talk about an arctic cave, because they look differently than this. And, yeah, I'm sure we would have spotted a mushroom had there been one in here. So I'm just going to keep moving and assume there isn't one in there. All 
All right, so we'll go back down as far down as we can go, and then we'll make a little ramp setup. I guess this is probably as good of a place as any uh, to do it. Does it look lower on that side or not? Maybe. Okay, you follow me. So what we're going to do is... Uh, let's get rid of this guy first. We can't get a headshot off on him. Well, that works. Okay, so... Uh, let's... How do I get you to go the other way? What's that? Uh, we might need to go down and then build back up. Okay. Let's head down here. That should work. Yeah. Again, I want to be conservative with how many ramps I use in case we have to do this more than once. I'm just leaving him there. Okay. This is a little further down here, uh, but it looks like it's probably maybe just a tad less steep over on this side, maybe? Okay, so again, can we get away with doing this? No sh- oh, wrong thing. With just two. Yep. I think we're good. Okay, cool. Liberty, where are you going? Oh wait, this isn't Liberty, this is two. Two, where are you going? Very good. Alright, let's keep looking for caves and it looks like we can get down through here with no issue what is this Okay, so that just leads back up to there. Gotcha. All right. We'll get our stamina back and then we'll outrun this wolf. He can't quite catch us. Looking for caves at this point. Arctic caves with mushrooms. That wouldn't be a cave, would it be? No. It's not. Okay. Anything over this way? Got a bunch of trees down there. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to run into the same problem here. Man, that's even further down. Good lord. How are we supposed to deal with that? All right. Um. Well. Let's go along through here. Is this potentially a way down? Not 
really. Okay, let's go around this way. There's a crevasse. But it doesn't look like it leads anywhere in particular. Okay, let's go over this direction. Look for caves. Turn my lantern off for the moment. Okay, I'm not really seeing anything this way either, so let's go this start heading this direction. We still have 16 ramps, but I'm a little concerned because this next cliff is a lot seems like it's a lot further down than the first one we had to do there. They're sure not making it easy for us to get out of here, is are they? No siree. Bit of a ledge there. Okay, let's take a look at our map. So it looks like if we can figure out how to get down here, then we're in good shape because then we can kind of come around through here. So we just have to, yeah, we just have to figure out how to get down from here. Um, I'm almost thinking we should maybe go over to that side. don't think I could get back up that stone cliff there but if we went over to this side we'd have a, a little bit of a you know probably a single ramp to get down there and then if we could get down to this stone we might be able to use that to get up so yeah let's go back this direction Also, this area here. Uh, but I don't know that that's really going to help us much. Yeah, okay, let's go over this way. Can this bird jump high enough to get back up here? Back up just a little bit. I don't think so. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to put a ramp there. Unless... Ooh, what if we did this? Oh, no, I don't like that. We just glitched through the world. That's scary. Okay, so we will put a ramp here. And that should be adequate, I would think. Yep, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, okay. Now, let's go over here. And, uh, whew, that is a long ways down, isn't it? Okay, so I guess we're going to drop down to here. And then what we'll do is... How about that?
that's not what I needed to do. Hmm. Can I really not get up there, huh? I want to be able to do this on foot in case, you know, we lose the emu. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ooh, ouch. Okay. I guess I needed to start those up a little higher. So, let's, um... Let's redo this. And also, would it be better to maybe try and come up through here? Okay, now, can we get up this way on foot? if we put another ramp here. That'll work. Okay. That'll have to do. Okay, so now if we come down to this rock can we then get back up here without a ramp? Oh! Easy there, big guy. Easy there. No, I think we're going to need another ramp. Unless I can... Oh, yeah, okay. So we can, we can kind of shimmy up that way if we need to. Uh, probably on the emu, we could just jump that. But again, I, I need to make this work, even if I don't have emu. Um... Let's take another one of these. But with Emu, we should be able to just hop right up here. Well, maybe. <laughs> what if we come over here? We need to we need to back up just a little bit because he's kind of. Alright. What about taking him along the same path that we went on foot? Okay, it's doable. It's a little jank, but it's doable. Okay, now we can come all the way down to here. And we should be able to, be able to get back up there without any issue. But then it gets a little tricky again. So I'm thinking... Oh, really? You can't get back up there, man? Oh, goodness. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> um, is there a better way? I don't think so, because this kind of gives us a natural ramp down to this spot. So I think we should just take advantage of that. So here's what I'm thinking. All right, let's get back up here and hop off Emu. And then from here, um, I want to ramp down... See, that's a problem. We can't ramp down. We have to ramp up. So if we put this guy here, that allows us to get back up to here. Makes it a little tricky. Oh, crap. Okay. There we go. Okay. I think. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that gets us to here. Now... Ooh, 
Look at that dude. He's being a pain in the butt. Hold still. Okay, so we just need to get back up to that ramp. So if we do this and... Why isn't that? There we go. And then go up to here. We can go up to here. We might need to... Yeah, we're gonna have to put another ramp down. And then we can get to here. Okay, I think we have this. <clears throat> I think we have this. Um, we could even possibly that there that would allow us to jump over there a little more easily <laughs> all right that should do it you guys that should do it uh, let's take a heat bandage because it is freaking cold out and we've got a storm going on oh I have to hop back off of you for a minute don't I Okay, uh, we still have 600 seconds left on our cocoa. Let's refresh this and this and that. And that. Okay, so yeah, let's go. Oh, the, the storms are going to screw up our thatch ramps. I didn't even think about that. Well, okay. We're going to have to bring thatch ramps back with us. I completely forgot that the storms will mess those up. And now we're taking storm exposure, which is not good. But I'm just hoping we can get into the forest now. And that, you know, the way won't be blocked. This looks promising. And yeah, that was scary. I'm just kind of, you know, looking along here to see if there are any caves by chance. Don't see anything along that way. Maybe we'll luck out and the thatch won't be completely destroyed. I'm not counting on it though. We're gonna be in a bit of a pickle if we can't get into the forest from at this point. Because no, actually from those trees I should be able to make more thatch. Okay, is this where we need to go? Where are we at? Yes, it is. Exposure's really bad right now, but I think we'll be able to make it. All right, let's go. I was just looking for more caves. Oh yes, look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally made it through to the other side. We have broke on through to the other side. Whoo-wee! Okay, cool! <laughs> Very cool. 
All right, let's stop right here. And I want to take a look at the map. Yeah, that was uh that was quite the deal. So when we, you know, when we go back, again, I, I need to have more thatch ramps because you know, those storms probably destroyed all of those thatch ramps. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But nevertheless, we'll have plenty with us uh, when we go back. Whew. What a deal, man. What a deal. Okay. Well, I think at this point, what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to do a little bit of exploring. And uh, I have been in this area. This is actually a very beautiful area. It's another kind of ring lake, but this lake here has no crocodiles in it. And um, so we'll take a look at that and we'll just kind of, you know, maybe we'll just go on an extended expedition. The, if we decide to do that, though, we're going to lose all of our food because eventually, you know, the generator will run out and then everything in the fridge will spoil, the garden will spoil. I mean, we can definitely recover from that. We'll just go pick some more wild crops and replant. So it's not like the end of the world if that happens, but um, this is kind of an interesting area too. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it some thought because another option for us, well, we have two options, right? We I could actually do the Zephyr quest and, and just unlock this way because then we could just cut across and go all the way through here so that's option one or option two we go back home we make the journey back home and I make concrete ramps and then the concrete ramps will not get destroyed by the storm they'll be permanent and then we have a permanent pathway through here um, so I don't know I'll think about that give it some thought and when we start the next episode I'll let you know what the plan is but Regardless, I'd like to at least kind of look around a little bit, do a little bit of exploring, take you guys up here and show you this area because this is a really pretty area, as I recall. And just kind of hang out a little bit and then, you know, go from there, okay? So, guys, we're going to wrap the episode up here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share with the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.